Today we read Psalm 90, which reflects on God's eternity compared to our fleeting lives, God's perspective on our tiny goings-on. It's quite a good psalm for New Year's Eve, as we look back at the year past and forward to the new year to come. It might help us to put things into perspective. A thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday, says the psalmist to God. There are some odd traditions on New Year's Eve around the world. We all know about singing Old Lang Syne, although this year don't sing it with anyone not in your own bubble. And first footing, of course, at Hogmanay in Scotland. There are some special foods that feature in different cultures. In Chile, that would be lentils. In Spain, you have to eat 12 white grapes as the clock strikes midnight. I suppose that brings good luck for the 12 months of the year to come. Eating a, a ring-shaped donut uh, symbolises the coming full circle and leads to good fortune for the year to come. Wassail is a drink like punch and the name comes from the Gaelic for good health. In Swiss homes, apparently, dollops of whipped cream are dropped on the floor to uh, symbolise the richness of the year to come and allowed to remain there. Now, between you and me, having lived in Switzerland for a few years, I, I find that hard to believe, having experienced their devotion to cleanliness. I mean, in Switzerland, you have to have your car engine steam cleaned before you take it for an MOT, lest the garage mechanic should get his hands oily. Making a lot of noise, from fireworks to gunshots to church bells, features in many cultures across the globe at New Year. So, in our various ways, we celebrate the end of the old and the beginning of the new. It feels like an auspicious moment. And linked to that, we make our New Year resolutions. Generally about being a better person in some way. Maybe hmm, eating less or eating more healthily. Or reforming ourselves in some other kind of way. A form of repentance and amendment of life, even. Isn't it interesting that the secular world celebrates like this, echoing so much of religious observance? Human beings like tradition and even ritual. There's actually a movement called Sunday Assembly, which is exactly like going to church on a Sunday, except without the God aspect. It started in 2013 and it's quite popular. The church year begins on Advent Sunday. But there are many starts of different kinds of year. We could think of the school year, for example, or the tax year. They're all artificial dates, man-made dates. Just like the date of Christmas, which reflects more the old pagan Saturnalia midwinter festival than the actual probable date of Christ's birth, which scholars tell us was more likely to have been sometime in the spring. But having chosen and designated these dates, they become very significant for us, like our birth dates and our wedding anniversaries and so on. We give special meaning to particular times and seasons. We shape our year and our lives in this way. It helps us to make sense of the passage of time. It helps to motivate us through the year. Meanwhile, it is still the festival of Christmas, and we are now on day seven of 12. Seven swans are swimming, if you like that carol. I hope you can go out for a walk today. Maybe you will be by a river or a lake where there could be swans. Just be thankful that no true love has delivered seven of them to your doorstep and expected you to look after them. <laughs> 